apron that the newbie crochet and this is my cape. Yeah, so my husband calls it. He says, um, I'm always in my cape. I'm always in my cape. I said, well, it's my happy place. So welcome. For those of you who are new, thank you for coming on over. If you have not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like and comment on the video. And for those of you who are coming back, thank you so much for your continual support. You guys know I love you. And today is going to be a little bit of a different um, video. I'm just going to go over some yarn that I purchased. Um, some um, just miscellaneous things. Just what's going on. And what's going on is that I'm slacking. Number one, I'm slacking. You guys know that on Saturday, this Saturday, in fact, we're going to be at the Steel Show Crochet and Chefs, Veronica's channel, where the challengers, which is Veronica, Ursula from OMG Granny Squares, and myself, uh, we are the challengers, and the last Saturday of each month, we get together and we discuss our project and where we're at and what we have done in that month. We only meet once a month, and we open the panel for those of you who want to join can come up and show what you're working on. If you have a particular project that you have um, made it your project challenge, then you can come up and share. And I have these two here, as always, they're battling it out. Maxi not. So each one has a piece of carrot, and I don't know what's going on. Stop, Bailey. So anyways, so I'm slacking. I did my 12, my 12 squares. I have a granny square blanket that I'm making and I am putting it together. Um, every month I do 12 and at the end of the month before our, our live, I put it together. So I have done my 12 squares for June. I have done my 12 squares for July. Truth be told, I have not added them to my blanket. I have some here and I have some here and as you can see there's a lot of tails to weave in so I am going to try to work on that this week to see if I can at least get that done before Saturday it's been a bit of a crazy few weeks um, uh, hotel where I work is is getting a little bit busier um, um, HR so um, we are hiring and so I've been a little bit um, um, busy when it comes to my job and uh, things are going around the house with the children and grandkids so it's been a bit of a crazy uh, few weeks to say the least but I did make my granny squares I just have to sew in these ends all these ends and add it to my blanket so mm, cross my fingers I get it done in time if not it's okay I give myself permission not to not to meet that deadline. It's not a deadline, it's just a shoot for date. Uh, crochet is supposed to be fun, not stressful, so that's what I always keep in my mind. So, But I do also want to share with you guys some yarn that I bought. So we all know Crystal from Bag o Day Crochet. And she showed the other night, I couldn't sleep, and so I was watching her and she was showing some yarn that she purchased in South Africa. And the moment I saw the cotton yarn that she showed, I fell in love. And at that hour of the night, I got on and I ordered some. Now granted, with shipping and everything, it averaged out just under $5 um, <clears throat> a, um, a cake, which is actually not a bad deal. I was quite surprised, so I was pleased with my purchase and I was pleased with the product. I got it, it came in yesterday, and I want to show you guys what I got. So I will move this out of the way. And for those of you who have seen it, oops, I just hit my computer. And for those of you who have seen it, maybe in my Instagram, let me see if I can show you. Oh, there it is. Believe it or not, that ottoman, that's um, my puppy's, um, Bailey's, not Bailey, Maxie's uh, chair. And he uses it so much that he started scratching, I mean, his pleather, the pleather off of it, which is the reason why I did the cover. You can wash it, put it in the washer. I already washed it because I wash everything I make, throw it in the washer, put it in the dryer, put it on. It was good to go. So, but now let's get to the yarn. 
a lot of people have asked me, sorry guys, a lot of people have asked me if I was going to do a tutorial for that and I am not. And the reason I am not is because that was, I was not keeping track of what I was doing. I was trying to find a pattern to do a flat cir circle and I just wanted it in, in single crochets because I wanted it to be in the top, at least in the top part, pretty tight. And everything I found was beanie related and the ones that I did find for some reason every time I started going out it start, started either flaring on the sides or, or, or turning in like a, like a beanie. And so I basically was playing it by ear, row by row, just to make it flat. So there is no set count, there is no set size. There's no set anything. I was just going row by row and deciphering, okay, if this row looks a little tight, then let me go ahead and and uh, and um, do a couple increases. If the next one looks like it's gonna start flaring out too much, then I did the next row, just one in each, one in each, uh, one stitch in each, uh, in each uh, stitch, a one one crochet stitch in each in each stitch prior stitch. And so forth. So I went one by one deciphering whether I needed to increase, whether I needed to decrease, whether I needed to just just go and just run um, just one stitch per stitch. <clears throat> if that makes any sense. Yeah, you guys know what I mean. It's one of those things where you just go with it and you just work it out as you go. So there's no said anything, so therefore I cannot do a tutorial. All that just to say that, right? Yeah, I'm long-winded. What can I say? Okay, so let's get to the yarn. So the the company name is Moya. It's Moya Yarns, and they're out of South Africa. Now, granted, when I ordered it, I was quite afraid that I wasn't going to get it because things broke out in South Africa. There were riots going on, and they were even in the news. So I was like, uh oh, I wonder if I'm going to get my yarn. But I did get it. It took about two weeks. It wasn't bad, so I can't complain. So I bought, it's all the same yarn, uh, three different colorways. The first one is called um, Sparkle. Uh, let me see if I can tell you what it is. It's 50% bamboo, 50% cotton. Moya Yarns. Let me go ahead and put this here so you can see. The... Uh, the cake is a little bit on the small side. It reminds me, for those of you who have shopped with uh, Darn Good Yarns, it reminds me of like their size cakes, something like that. Um, there is called sh this is uh, Sparkle Size of Sparkle. Is um, their Shimmer line Moya Shimmer, and it's got a hundred and twenty-five meters. And it calls for a 3.5 to 4 millimeter hook. It is a DK weight. Once again, this is color sparkle. How beautiful. Cover my face so it focuses on there. And that is one of them. I cannot remember the price because it was all in South African currency. But it basically all ended out with shipping and everything. I averaged it out. It was just under... Um, just under $5, uh, a little, a ball. And I ordered two, four, two, four, five, six, seven of each. Because I was, I always try to order um, a thousand yards of each color. So based on the yardage that it, it, that it gave me, I ordered seven. This is the next color that I ordered. This one is called Brilliance. Once again, it's all the same. I will read to you that it says to uh, Moya yarns are hand dyed and should be machine washed and spent on normal cycle before any blocking. Yes, there may be slight residual surface dye. And it requests that you dry flat. So you can wash it in the washer, but dry flat. This is, this is Brilliance. Look how beautiful. It's got a little bit of a shimmer. Once again, that is 50% bamboo and 50% cotton. And finally, the third one that I bought, I bought just three different colors. And I bought seven of each, once again. 
This one is called Glow. And this is Glow. It's more of a neutral. Then I have one that's more of, of a pinky, pinkish color and the other one is, is your green family. I'll show you the green one. I thought it had more blue from the picture in the, um, in the internet, but I still like it. So this one's very neutral. Very beautiful yarn. Very shiny. I can't wait to work with it. It doesn't smell like anything. Let me see. Yeah, there's no there's no scent to them. No bad smell, no good no good scents. There's no scent to it. So that is what I got. This, these are these and these. And I'm super happy with them. I can't wait to work with them. You guys know that I'm all about my cottons and my bamboo. I don't use that much, but I can't wait to try that. With the shipping, they also sent me a little gift bag and they have, um, they sent me this. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's this color planner, Moya. And it's, I don't know if, I don't know what it's, what it's for. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, but it's got their, um, the website is Africa, africayarn.com. Let me put it here so you guys can see. I will tag, try to tag it also below so if you guys are interested, you guys can uh, check them out. But that is their website. And they sent me these three little beautiful samples of their Moya Tots. These are, I don't know, but I'm assuming these are 100% cotton the way they feel. And in three little, little colors. Look at that. Look how tiny they are. This is kind of like a very soft baby pink. This is a very soft blue, almost turquoisey. And this is uh, almost like a tealy color, or vice versa. But look how tiny. Awesome. Love it. These little ones, I'm going to probably try to make some anklets with them. I posted a picture of an anklet that I made in Instagram. Everybody loved it, but I'm sure my girls and my crew, meaning my daughters and daughter-in-laws and nieces, will probably be asking for one soon. I also ordered from Lion Brand only because it was on sale and I had a coupon. Uh, four of the Comfy Cotton uh, Confetti. And this is the color, uh, colorway Orange Blossom. I have this in, I think it's called Rainbow. I'm not sure what the other color is, but it's more of a pinky. This is more of an orange yellow color. And I ordered four of these. Once again, this is 50% uh, cotton, 50% acrylic. It's a light number three. And it has 350 yards. So I ordered four of these. My face, so you can see it again beautiful and I also ordered four of the cotton candy blend which was also on sale and once again I had a coupon this one's got 271 yards it is also a light number three this one is 52 polyester 48 cotton and is gray the color is gray how beautiful so yeah, so those are the ones that I got. Now, today I got a call from my daughter who was shopping at her local Walmart and she showed me, she FaceTimed me and she's like, Mom, they have these yarns for sale. They had Kobu, I've never used Kobu, and they had them in several different colors. They were on clearance, I think they were $2.50. So I asked her to bring me three of each color and then there were some other ones that she was going to pick up for me that I had asked her for that were there. They had some chunky yarn that you guys know me, I don't use chunky so I bypassed that. But there were some other thin yarns that I enjoy and, and I like. Um, Summer Nice I think it's called from Lion Brand they had so I had her bring me a couple of those and um, what other ones? I think that was the only ones. Summer Nights. 
I had to bring me two of each and then the Kobu I had to bring me three of each of the colors that they had available on clearance. So thank you to my daughter and son-in-law for always looking out for their mama. So of course I already zelled her back her money. Um, and I think that is all I got that I have um, that I have purchased. But I also wanted to mention that um, my husband and I have been really, really busy working on some wood, wood projects that will be, um, I'll try to upload uh, soon uh, the pictures of, of some of the latest items that we have made. Um, been really, really busy between our landscaping company, the weather not cooperating, so it's pushing my husband's work late, you know, so he's been, it's been affecting also our woodwork. Also just finished an order of uh, um, 18 hooks that somebody ordered. As you guys know, I also do polymer clay hooks. We do the wooden signs, the subscribe signs, and all those things. You can find that in my About tab, all the items that we make. Um, so we've been a little bit busy when it comes to that. I'm also working on some new items that are yet to be shown. And I just look out for those soon. What else can I tell you guys? Oh yes, my birthday is next Tuesday, August 3rd. And that day I hope to go live and it's all going to be about you. And we were going to have a lot of fun giveaways. Not completely like my monetization celebration, but we're going to have a lot of fun and we're just going to be just uh, blessing people with some giveaways. So don't miss out. Don't make, make sure you mark your calendar August 3rd. I burned the Newbie Crochet's channel, so make sure you mark it down. Don't miss it. Also, let's see. I have been asked by some people if I am going to do memberships for my channel, and the answer is no. I'm not going to create membership. I am going to um, just provide my channel to everybody equally. Um, um, if you want to donate and you choose and you want to do something for me and since I'm not going to have any memberships, the PayPal donate is there, the Buy Me A Coffee um, donate is also there in my, uh, in my YouTube page. On the right hand side, the main page, you'll see my PayPal and my Buy Me A Coffee. Just if you put your cursor over it, um, it will take you to the link. That's the only way that I am going to be... Um, um, uh, making money aside from from the channel but we all know that unless you have a huge channel with thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and more thousands of subscribers you really don't make much just a few dollars every every few months so um, you know that's not anything that you can count on but we will still continue to be here for you guys I'm, I want to bring you my my items uh, what I'm making what I'm possibly be uploading uh, new new projects my husband and I are working on. Um, I will tell you I'm going to be uploading a tutorial really soon just on how to do the squares, the lacy squares, the lacy rectangle, the lacy triangle, and the lacy circle. So look for those soon. Um, I mentioned that at a, at a, in one of our lives and just basically I want to do the tutorials with those shapes because once you have those shapes down you can create anything you want um, whether blankets whether um, a sweater a cardi anything so I think it's just really it's gonna be a lot of fun to just create those and with and with using those shapes you can create any number of things let's see what else I think that's it guys I think that is all that I have right now for you I just want to thank each and every one. Oh, one last thing. I have started to put in my community tab, as long as I don't forget, uh, you guys remember my book, A uh, Year of, of Positive, A Year of Positive Quotes, A Year of Positive Thinking? I think it's A Year of Positive Thinking. So the name of the book, yeah, forget everything. And so, um, I'm trying to remember every day to post the the message for the day on my community tab. Um, they're inspiring. They talk to people. They talk to me sometimes. They 
they make me feel better some days when I'm feeling a little wah, wah, wah. so um, I hope that you guys enjoy those I'm also trying to put videos that are fun and enjoyable kind of to uplift and just just to relax and just to laugh things out and, and just to huh, a little exhaling which we all need to do every once in a while and I do believe that is it guys as always you know that I love each and every one of you guys if it wasn't for you this channel would not exist I appreciate you guys being here with me and taking the time to watch my videos for those of you who are new and have not subscribed yet or who are just watching me and have not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and um, and enjoy the ride with us we have a good time no pressure very laid back it's easy breezy Japanesey something like that right I don't know no offense to anybody. Please forgive me if, if I offend anybody. That's not my intention. But anyway, you guys know that I love you. So um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a blessed day, morning, noon, night, evening, overnight, crack of dawn. I hope it's blessed. And nothing but the best for you guys. Sending blessings. God bless each and every one of you guys. Stay well. Stay safe. And from the Yarny Cave, we'll see you soon. Peace. Mwah. If you hear somebody snoring in my videos, it's usually my dog, Bailey. She's old. She's like 11 years old. She's about to almost 12 years old. And she snores worse than... Let me not say my husband. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah.